<laughs> Hi, <we> everybody. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> I brought Shen onto my channel, Shen Towers from Objective Personality. So in some of my hiatus time, I did uh, rabbit hole number two. I actually got to play <laughs> it out, talk to people in the community. And oh, uh, good for you. I yeah I'm yeah good job on. oh my gosh we're gonna be like <laughs> play 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 <laughs> i know i know i know i will i will attempt to do the narrowing down but i am excited <laughs> that's, that's what my notes are for i got the two times activated masculine and i there you go <laughs> our horses blinders like we got this <laughs> good 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 you can keep us in line that'll be great <laughs> so yes and like selfishly this is also like i'll probably get to sleep process and good bed. like yeah, yeah good i mean i think okay so for anybody watching this like i was kind of in like the socionics sort of circle for a while and yeah i was like you enfj and then <laughs> yeah did me you too to yeah oh. i thought i like at first at first i thought enfj dave and i knew each other from a long time ago and it was like okay here's the test and i read the profiles and it was like either enfj or entj and it was like mm -hmm. once i started talking about the baby fi of the entj i was like oh oh that that's, one that's my problem <laughs> that little baby fi <laughs> yeah. but i care about people and you know the definitions are so like if you care about others it's like oh my gosh you must have fe yeah right you can't right. you can't be a robot what right you're either a business you're either like a ceo a drill sergeant if you're te or mm -hmm. or fe if you care about others <laughs> exactly. so funny exactly. Ironic. yeah and i i remember um I submitted my video to to get typed and I was like freaking out the whole month obviously because <laughs> right human identity oh okay I should probably update everyone on what my official type ended up being yes, yes. yes. so I'm blaster you which yes is <laughs> <laughs> F M T E S E play yes. blast sleep consume right um, Right. Feminine, sensory, masculine, extroverted, deciding function. Make it work. Yeah, let's go. Um, <laughs> I kind good. of thought about this type briefly and I was like, I don't. I looked at the kind of like external result, <laughs> lol, um, of yeah. <laughs> what the type is doing. And I was like, oh, I don't think I'm like doing that in reality right right so i didn't right. think it could be real um right. but i remember culminating on the point i was like gee like i sure seem to be freaking out about getting the pattern wrong that seems like mm -hmm. demon patterns <laughs> a little bit oh, <laughs> right, right. Oh, i'm trying to figure this out all month like huh so right. i got to this like you might be st you might be ST. right right yeah and like That's so good oh god and for me like I kind of like for the last little year or so I kind of came from like the Enneagram and my type in the Enneagram I might like touch again on that later is like right. a, a stare like it's a it's a heart type and it's like offering the heart yeah the right so having that like reconcile with like ENTJ was right, like right. interesting. I've right. spent a lot of time processing it, but right, yeah, because we do like it's it's so ironic because how we're seen from the outside is very different from how we see ourselves on the inside. It's like, but I do want to share my FI, but I do have that like want and desire to connect, but mm -hmm. I got to protect it, <laughs> I got to keep it safe. Oh, yes, how do you feel like? Mm, like, how do you feel like you're perceived on the outside? Um, and right. how does like giggly Shan kind of- I know, right. That? Yeah. I, so it's like, I go back and forth because um, there's times where I'm, I'm being giggly and silly and I just laugh at everything because I am so afraid to bring out that masculine TE and just sure. annihilate the masses because I know I can. Like if I start using the logic and I start debating, I know that instantly it's like, oh, you just mowed down everybody. So I think a lot of times when I'm engaging with people, I'm like purposefully trying to play the flowery role where I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Have a great day. And I'll even like change the pitch of my voice, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. I can, I can't hold on to that for very long. Okay. Like I can't, I can't. Unless you're being lit up in some way. Yes. That if it's a natural, like, oh, you're actually getting, you know, giggly and sparkled and, and whatever, like that comes out instantly, you know, that'll come out with a commercial or whatever. <laughs> but, um, so like I go back and forth and of course a single deciding where I'm like worried and per- being perceived as dumb and ditzy because I'm being silly, you know? And then on the other side, I worry that I'm being perceived as just a Karen where I'm just being like, you're wrong. Fuck you. You're an idiot. Uh, And I'm laughing maniacally at, at people who are stupid. Like I worry about that imbalance because it's so extreme. It's like, wait, you have, you have two, you know, two deciders. One is a machine gun and the other one is a little baby bunny. Like how do you, you know, uh, consolidate the two of those, you know, merge them together like a weirdo single decider. Yes. Do you feel like that your swings between the gun and the flower kind of like sometimes accidentally make people like wary. Cause I'm wondering, honestly, I think that might be going on for me. And I was for like, sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 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 For sure. <laughs> and I think, um, I think less so now, but like all until I met Dave, until I met Dave, until I got somebody who was like super honest with me, it was, it was my whole life constantly worrying that like people were seeing that, um, Neuro, I call it neurotics, you know, just the neuroticism of like, yeah. you know, almost like the bipolarism of like, I'm sad, uh, get away from me, you know, like these, like, I'll help, I'll help, I'll help, I'll help, I'll help. Okay, now I'm going in my closet, leave me alone. Like I had a pretty, you know, the intense swing, like, I just want to be left alone. Don't talk to me, leave me alone. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely had that. And I, I felt like a lot of people really didn't know what to do with me. Like, what is that thing? And I think a lot of people growing up, were just very intimidated. Like they just get intensely intimidated by the tea. Um, I'm also really tall. So it's just like, what is that thing? You know, Um, until I met Dave. And then once I met Dave, he just is not intimidated by anything. Like even if he should be intimidated, he is not. So you're just like, dude, you can't be that honest with somebody. And he's just like, no, you're kind of being a bitch. And I'm like, you can't just say that. I know I'm I'm not, I'm not being a bitch. I'm just telling you the truth. And like, it's so funny to have somebody just directly spell it out. Like, yeah, you do this weird thing where, you know, you're, you're being dramatic. Um, you're making a big deal. You're arguing, you're constantly ruining the vibe. That's the kind of thing that I feel like the masculine TE does not see in themselves. And I, I, I didn't have that until I had a mirror up for myself from Dave. And that's why I talk about it so much to kind of like normalize it, you know, yeah. um, because in normal conversations, you could just be talking about like calm business and everybody's normal and calm. And then I'll be like, oh, that's not going to work. Oh, that's, that's stupid. Yeah. That's not going to work. And then everyone just kind of is like, oh, you know, like, it, like you have no idea how much people are like, ow, right. You just, you just told me that was a really stupid idea and they happen to be sensitive to it or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I don't mean it that intensely. I mean, I'm just saying it's not going to work and I'm trying to help you out, but it's such a sharp, like, it's so quick. It's like, oh, it, that's not going to work. This is not going to go well. Uh, you're going to hit this, 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 this. And, 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 and I feel like the speed and the mm-hmm. sharpness is mm-hmm. definitely something that people get like, okay, can you slow down? My brain did not see that fast. And now I'm offended. And now I'm offended. And my brain, my brain was already going slow. So now I'm just like, <laughs> that's like, that's the reaction in the look on people's faces. You're seeing like, and I'm just like, well, can you just trust me? It's not going to work out. And people can't, they don't just trust somebody. Well, it's not going to work. You know, it's not gonna work. Right. And then you, you start getting offended. Like now people don't like me when you're giving an idea, idea, it's in a rapid fire. And then you start going, Oh my God, people don't like me. No, they just got felt dumb because you just machine gunned them down with your idea. Stupid, you know? So there's a lot of like reaction from the tribe that we will interpret in a really weird way because we have no idea you're holding a giant bazooka, you know, I'm just giving you an idea. What's the problem? That was a stupid one. Don't you want to know? <laughs> like, no, they don't want to That's know. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> don't you want to know that? You're wrong. You're wrong. Dumb and stupid. It's like, ow, you know, so mm. yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard so- to see that 
from um, an outside perspective. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, okay. <laughs> My brain went in like two directions, so I'll just pick one, but um, do you, what kind of stuff? Cause you know, when you're like learning ops and even like TE in general, it's like, Oh, like make it work, especially ST. Yeah. What kind of stuff are you making work? Cause I also think that maybe you and I are making different things yeah. work but for me. Yeah. I'm like, ex- I feel like more NT in a lot of ways. Like I'm like, yeah. he- I- here's, Oh, that NF stuff that you don't believe. Here's why it makes sense. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it yes. makes sense for you. Take it. Like, yes. yes. I get so mad. Um, yeah. So yeah. Like, what are you making work like on the daily in society? Like, what does that look like? Yeah. I mean, that's a good question. It really just depends on what um, I, everything, you know, I mean, I feel like sometimes the TE is just a, is a garbage disposal for whatever's in front of it. And that's, what's so weird is I'm not, I'm not isolated on TI. So I'm not like, this is the only thing that I spend my, my puzzling time on. Mm -hmm. If somebody throws something in front of me, I'm like, like, I I feel like my brain does um, this troubleshooting thing where it really quickly, it feels like if I were to use an analogy, a visual analogy, it's like that coin sorter where you just dump a, a pile of coins into a coin sorter. And it's like, okay, put the quarters here, put the dimes there, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what my brain is designed to do. So if somebody puts something in front of me instantly, I'm, I'm like going down the roads and I'm puzzling and I'm going, okay, eliminate that path. That's not going to work because I ran into a roadblock here. You can't do that because these two things don't work. Uh, Okay. Let me try that. And then like really quickly, my brain just sorts it out to be like, this is the one that's going to work. And, um, I'll bet, I'll, and I can visually see it playing out. You know, I'll go to the NI to visually like see physical it. objects or um... it's everything from it's everything from uh, like you know. Let me see if I can figure out what I'm what I'm trying to do right yeah. now. Like right now, like I have several projects that I'm trying to do right now. So like uh, a lot of times it'll be like um, business oriented stuff, just because we're doing business stuff. Um, So it'll be like, uh, the website won't work if you have, you know, like for instance, for example, um, right now I'm having to switch over our software because the software that I started on with our membership, um, it was built by two INTJ guys that are both consumed last and they won't update their payment stuff. And so like, I had to figure out a way to make it available for people who have PayPal to, to use it. And so like the amount of like Jimmy rigging I had to do to like, from this, cause like, I'm like, no, the customer will get lost from here to here. There's a giant gap from here to here. And I'm watching the person in my mind, watching the person go from A to B to C to D. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, person A will jump off here. Person B will jump off there. Person C will jump out here. So it's like, even though I won't be able to solve all these things, I will know where all the holes are because I'm watching people having to go through the puzzle and I just see them drop off. I'm like, oh yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay. We can't use that system because it won't go. It won't work. So I'm just watching people as they go along and going, yeah, simulating that out, it won't work. And then I just know, okay, we know we can't work that. And like, it's funny because I'll go to the team and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like, I'll just use it categorically. Like, oh, PayPal won't work because it just won't work. And they'll be like, why? And I'm like, oh, I don't want to explain it. And that's where my blast will just, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Just trust me, please. I already did all the math in my head and I already watched everybody fall through the holes and I, I, it just won't work. So it's stuff like that. And then of course it'll be physical things like photography wise where I'm like, you know, trying to figure out like, okay, what's the best position? What's the best lighting? All that kind of stuff. And then I'm like, oh yeah, this kind of camera, that kind of lens won't work with that kind of camera. So it's definitely a lot of sensory there involved where I'm having to like put together physical things where I'm just like, yeah, the mechanics of this lens are not ideal. It's going to cause me these kinds of problems. So toss, I won't use that. And I'll use this one, you know, just the sort of things in life where you're, you're having to figure out puzzles. A lot of it is physical. I'm not trying to come up with um, any stuff where it's like something in some pat, some reoccurring pattern is going on abstractly. I'm not trying to solve what like Lana Wachowski is trying to solve. You know, I'm not, I'm not puzzling out the patterns of a humanity 
not, I'm not in the clouds, you know, I'm mm -hmm. still trying to figure out how did the website work? Did it fit? Did they physically fall through a hole? If that makes sense, you know? Uh, yeah, that's something I'm still kind of integrating because I think that's one of the differences between like you and me is that like right. when, when I'm expected to do anything like that, I just, I'm like, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, don't I bet you would stay in NI a lot, right? Like, yeah, like especially with it being okay. So you know how you said that um, the modalities, like the masculine or feminine charge, it's a spectrum. Yeah, I would say my deciders are somewhat middle, but in terms of my observers, like my SE is like the most dainty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I want to get into that like in right. a bit, but like I'm yes. very, the constant criticism ever since I was like a baby is like, right. there's like this simultaneous, like, oh, she's very alert, but also like, hello. Like, yes. I, I just yes. started bartending. And when it's like, I have a moment to kind of like drift off into the mental yes. landscape, people are like, okay. <laughs> yes call well, my name seven times I'm not going to hear you and like right. I don't really if I haven't like seen something physical yep. kind of happen before I don't really know what's going on because how yeah. my brain works is like I'm just watching like flashing images and 30 second loops in my head yes it's actually completely formless but it's yes. very categorical at the same time it's like it's yeah really odd but yeah um, yeah Amnesia brain is what I've always called it. Yeah. That's and what like, it feels like. It does. And like, um, I think that how a lot of the like, the TE comes out for me is I'll watch people kind of misunderstand ideas or each other. And I'm yeah. like, like, I was the kid in class that, you know, the teacher would be getting frustrated because the students aren't getting it. And I'm like, he means this. Like, <laughs> 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 or like if I couldn't raise my hand and talk, I would be like shitting bricks, like, please let me talk. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Me too. I was always like, <laughs> mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. no, no, no. And like no one, it's like no one, no one answering was the most like painful thing ever. Cause I'm like, dang it. I have to do this again. All right. This is what was going on. <laughs> I would get mad if other people, like I would let them, but on the inside, I'd be like, like a you got the answer talking, wrong. Yeah. If I'm not talking, it's usually kind of hard for me to absorb. Consume, yeah. Like. Yeah. So I need you to learn, learn by talking. By talking and by doing, like. Yeah. yeah it's okay. So <laughs> hmm, my brain is always like, "Do we take this road or this road?" I know, right? I'm like, oh wow. Okay. Puzzle um, the path. We could take both of them. Both of them. <laughs> um yeah okay so I'll just like get in my little selfish DI questions you're allowed yes! <laughs> it's your interview <laughs> oh god um I was curious if like you guys remember typing me and yes. how like how you got to like did you know that I was instantly oh what gave it away was it the <laughs> the makeup it's <laughs> So like, it's, it's like when you've, when you've listened to, well, I mean, you just get to know your own dinosaur. You're like, okay, what dinosaur am I? So it's like, okay, I know this song. I know this rhythm. I know this look like, yeah, you're just, I'm like, oh, Hey, real quick. Like there's one. I want to go type that one, you know? Yeah. And, and just like, it's fascinating the words coming out of our mouth. Like we really do like, I'm just telling my story. I'm just telling mm -hmm this thing that stressed me out, this thing that hurt my feelings, this thing that frustrated me, uh, me and my friend, we did this thing and here's what I was doing. And we're just talking from first person perspective. And so all of it feels very real, you know, but then if you were to step outside and you would see a hundred use, mm -hmm. you're like, Oh, that one goes there. You know, like really quickly, you're like, these are all the same. These are all the same. They have the, the, the stories, some of the sensory will be different. Some of the sensory is exactly the same. And that's when you're just sitting there laughing, going, <laughs> I mm -hmm. can't even, because it's so bizarre, you know, with the demon and I, it's just super bizarre again and again and again and again and again, just to be like, you're like shook every wow. time. Yeah. Every time it is still like, and sometimes I'm just annoyed, like, 
fucking robots. Like, I don't want it to be true. You can feel that. Like, I don't want it to be true. They were just all the same, you know, I'm like, where's the variety? But um, yeah, for sure. It's just, it's like, okay, there's that song. There's my song, you know? So it's just, it honestly feels like you're just listening to the same. You're it, somebody else who happens to have a wire to your you're own like brain. Me. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah. I remember just like, you know, I've kind of, I did like some demon moping sleep <laughs> by myself on ops, like just on yeah. YouTube, like back in like 2018. Yeah. I was like, me and that lady would get along. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know you. <laughs> we could trade secrets. <laughs> right. I know you feel it. Like, you know, I joke around and I say like, oh, you get embarrassed when you see people of your same functions, your same type. And mostly I'm speaking from, again, I, a lot of times I'll speak from the tribe's perspective. Like I don't actually feel that way myself anymore, but I know that other people are like, but I don't like that person. And I'm like, I know. I felt that way when I, when I very first started, I felt that way. And so I'll speak from the tribe's perspective as if I was, you know, engaging in this for the first time. I don't feel that way anymore. A lot of times when I see ladies of the same type as me, I'm like, Hey, Hey, (laughs) sister, I get you. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, that one, exactly. Just, uh uh-huh, I know what's going on in there because you're just like how, you know, the more you can love your own self, the more you can love your own journey, the more that you can love your own struggle. And you're just like, oh man, I totally remember that time period when you're talking about feeling stuck there and there and there and there and there. For sure. It just feels like you're talking to family, you know, mm. yeah. family a lot of times, like family or even a past self, depending on where the person is at, you know? Yeah. And that, so, yeah. T- that T-E-S-E song is like, I did this and people didn't like it. And now I'm sad. Yeah. And I don't know what I want. And yeah. I hope it's okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's okay. I wasn't allowed, but I'm so, embarrassed that I want this. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure like at the beginning of my video, I was like, so I tried to make this, I was thinking about making it in my head. And then I cried because I thought you wouldn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like I just know it so well I get it like it's, mm-hmm. and other people who don't have the functions are like why yeah. and like yeah. I've gotten to the point now where I'm I just stand outside of my own brain and I watch it do its weird stuff and I'm just like why why are you getting triggered by that that is so dumb that makes no, no sense, sense. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like whatever, keep moving through it. Like, that's really all it is. It's like, you just, at this point, you're just watching your brain get weird about stuff. And you're like, there that is again, huh? Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm going to move through this chemical reaction and pretend it's not real. And sure enough, it's not real every time, you know? Shocker. Wow. (laughs) That leads into one of my questions really well. So uh, like, uh, I'm a person who sometimes on purpose but mostly accidentally causes a lot of drama and <laughs> I'm a dramatic just not surprising yeah. like what? we do that naturally I know yeah. like yeah. Why, why is everyone mad <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't mad but now I am yes uh, I get it uh, and like you know a lot of those things are kind of like repeating NIs of like certain certain kinds of drama or whatever so yeah yeah, obviously in my own misery I'm like fuck like what am I doing like even if it's not my fault it's like why am I attracting this is kind of the questions I'll like sleep ask myself um and a lot of what has been helping me in the last even like couple of months has been um using like different personality systems like um particular parts of Enneagram, like ops, obviously. Um, And I've kind of come to this point where I'm like, I need to be like eyes wide open, horrified by what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. And I just, I guess I wanted to ask you like, mm, how important has being like absolutely mortified by your patterns been like helpful in creating the life and connections that you actually want to be having. Yeah. Right. Um, a lot. And 
I, like, I feel like I don't even talk about it as much because I think, you know, as an EJ, as a TE, I'm constantly aware that people are misconstruing exactly what I'm saying because of the colloquial sayings out there of self-love and you need to spend some time self-loving. And then instantly you say, actually, you need to go stare at your shit. And, and that automatically gets you misinterpreted. Loving, but it yeah. Is. Right. And I think like the, one of the things that I have realized in my own self, cause I've been processing this for so long now. And it's, it's, it's like, I don't really see myself as T E S E anymore. I just see that as one of many functions in my brain that is a default thing in my brain that I have to babysit, that I have to manage. But I, my own self, am somebody that needs a lot of, like give myself compassion for fucking up today. Give myself um, a break, really give up caring, let it all go. Cause why traumatize yourself? Because your brain is naturally wired to do a certain thing. Like it's, it's, it's honestly getting mad at yourself for like, oh, I desire sugar. And if I let my brain just go eat as much sugar as it humanly possibly wants, I will cause physical harm to my body. And if I do as much TE and SE and EJ dramatizing of things as I want, I will also cause problems in my personal life. And I, I see it as very much the same thing. And honestly, the, the way out that I, that that I see for others that I, my own self, have really spent a lot of time kind of understanding and, and owning the NI of it. It's, I see it a lot like drug addiction where, cause it's very chemical. It's something that you get, like it gets a hold of you. Like your functions really get a hold of you and trying to resist it at some point. It's like, it just feels like you're trying to, you're trying to hold up sand or something like that. I feel like the real way out is like going all in where you're just like drunk on your saviors where you're like, okay, let them do whatever they want. Let them have whatever they want. Let them go all in and do it a thousand percent consciously. And then get to the point where you're like, wow, life is really depressing because my functions are not it. They are not from God. They are not the answers to the world if I just go all in and give myself the crack cocaine addiction of my saviors that I just want and desire, mm -hmm. it ends in, I still am miserable. I'm still miserable. I got all of the junk food that I wanted. I got all the candy that I wanted and I'm still miserable. And then when you get to that point in life where you're like, I'm terrified of people being mad at me. I made somebody mad at me. I'm terrified of starting a fight. I started another fight. I'm terrified of not, I'm terrified of this person being mean to me. They, you know, I caused a, a disruption and they were mean to me. And you just get so like frazzled and wrapped up and crazy about the fear. And yeah. you're just creating this like giant fear closet where you're like, don't ever have any pain, never have any pain, fear, 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 cause a fight, cause a fight. And you're just in this like, muck you have to get to the point where you eventually go okay i'm gonna just go completely the opposite direction mm. don't give a fuck anymore stop caring stop dramatizing and it's it's a detox from drama because you get riled up like my saviors are god you get riled up in the fears of don't ever let anybody be mad at me. And then you cause it to an extreme degree, like beyond the understandings because can't yeah. see self, yeah. can't see oh. self. So have no idea how much I'm actually causing it because I looked at my saviors, which are God, by the way, and I figured out all the logic and I pulled out all the sensory and I believed my fake liar shit. I believed yeah. it. Therefore, I don't understand why anybody's mad at me. What, what? And then you just get to the point where you're like, I'm too tired. I'm done. This is so ridiculous. I really, I'm going to start going the opposite direction. And that direction is you really do have to go to war on drama. Mm. And you also, that the number one weapon of the war on drama is extreme honesty with self. Yeah. And that is the way out because over here, you're going to tell yourself, I didn't, it wasn't my fault. I didn't cause that fight. And your TE and your SE will give you a check mark and say, you had a great argument. You told them what you were going to do. I told you, I said, 
I said these words and I believed ST that I said all the words, ignore the emotional state. I came in the room like a raging bitch and I was pissed off, but I told you the words and I said these sensor words and bonk, 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 you should believe me. Therefore, I have all the TESE and I have all the correct arguments and I have all the sensor. Mm -hmm. So all this drama that happened, your fault, not me. And you get over here to this place where you're like, fuck drama. And you're like, I'm going to go and just be radically honest with myself. I was kind of a, I was, I was kind of a piece of shit. In fact, I actually hated that person, which is why there was a fight because I got offended by something they said the other day. And I came in and I just turned up the fire because I was intimidated. I felt embarrassed. I felt hurt. They said something. It's, it is kind of stupid that I got offended by that thing they said, but I revved up underneath in my baby FI. And then I just let them have it in some other area that is completely disconnected. And I felt validated because I gave them an ST report. So not my fault. And you go, fuck drama. And I'm going to be reason that you said it like, oh, I have a good reason. So I can just turn off the responsibility channel in my brain. Mm -hmm. What? Because what? you're being responsible because you're responsible for reasons. Therefore you can act however you fucking want. Yeah. Yes. Well, not, well, yeah, you can, you have earned the right to like hammer down. Yes. And, like maybe that's true, but does right. that really get you what you want and other people no. don't want either? No, not you, often. No. No. Yeah. And when you actually go, when you start playing that game, what starts happening is that you start learning responsibility for your FI because you actually have to go and be being honest with self. It's like, oh, actually, technically, I woke up with a hurt feeling and it started because I was feeling insecure about this today. Yeah. And I just went on the hunt to punch somebody with logic so that I could get a cry out. Mm. wow and that addiction to the drama is coming from I got a good cry out so my chemicals got moved I feel amazing (laughs) I feel amazing because I just cried and now I feel bad over here I was like no (laughs) (laughs) and then that's where the addiction comes from Cause you really get to the point where you have to learn to go cry on your own and be like, I'm feeling really yeah. sad. I feel really insecure about this thing. And now it's just you and that thing. What is it? Oh, I'm insecure about the way that I look because of ba ba ba. Okay, great. Go to that. Yeah. And go find, go, go you and that thing have a conversation. Mm. stop distracting and deflecting and going way over here and starting a fight about blah, 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 blah. It's some funny. fake thing. It's funny because I feel like the, here's part of why I think I didn't recognize that I was a thinker at first because my idea of that is like TI where it's like, I don't have feelings at all. I like, <laughs> obviously I have feelings. I'm always talking about my feelings. Like, hello, but there's this sense of like, um, I think our version of like not realizing the NF or the SF is kind of right. like, it's like being able to attach the meaning of your current chemicals to something that, I mean, especially for us, that's like happening right now or happen, happened yeah. recently or yeah. um, rather than being part of like a wider right. framework right. That's, that's very internal as right. well it's like well this outside thing happened so of course yeah you know, yeah yeah like maybe someone did like shit in your fucking cheerios but i mean right. <laughs> and that happens yeah and then you're like oh well, i know i'm mad yeah like, like that's easy like, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i, I of course i'm mad they did the, this and now i'm mad you know yes and the i feel like the gift of like feminine feeling especially feminine fi is like for me it's like very rarely do I see myself or do other people see me as like unaware of a feeling state like right. people are usually like oh wow like you're so aware it's like yeah because they're <laughs> jerking me around like this like yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't ignore that come on right 
Right, um, right. Yeah. 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 And I, I get that. Yeah. It, it does feel like the stuff that's easy to see is if somebody's like blatantly, you know, like, the, okay, that's more obvious. It's out on the table. Like, yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad right now. Like the weird stuff is, is hard when it's just a quiet whisper. That's the stuff that's oh. hard to track. Mm-hmm. When it, I, I feel like the FI, when it's just quietly stacking in the background mm-hmm. where like something really small and your TE can just quickly go, that's not, that's not that big of a deal. Let it go. And then it just sweeps it under the rug. And that's why eventually the lead TEs, especially, you know, are all the savior TEs, especially masculine TE will just annihilate somebody later on Mm -hmm. and have no idea that there's just been this quiet, like gremlin building in the background of, 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 of rage that originally started from something very, very, very different. And then, you know, now I'm mad. No, I'm, I, I'm really this mad about that thing. It's like, no, no, that, yeah. Cause that wouldn't have bothered you another day. And it's the unconscious, not aware that my emotional state is getting triggered constantly on small things, you know? Yeah. Like you mentioned, um, being addicted to saviors and stuff. And I know that you and Dave talk a lot about like, um, growth mindset. And like, I hear the community buzz about it a lot and everyone's like, yeah, growth mindset. But, um, I was actually wondering about kind of the flip side of it, where have you ever felt like, whether as a TESC or just like as Shan, um, Mm -hmm. you've been addicted to growth and and transformation and bettering for its own sake. And then Mm -hmm. been like, oh, what was that for? Oh, that was empty. Like, oh, I was just doing process without kind of like an agenda in mind. Does that? Right. Um, I... I would say I used to, Mm. and I would say I used to, and it was like back when I really hadn't figured everything out. I felt like it was, um, I still felt like that was just my savior functions going, okay, do better. And it's really just like, do better because the team needs me to do better. And I'm not proving to them yet that I am doing better. And it's like, oh my God, T-E-S-E all day long. You're just feeding this, like do better, uh, be better, prove to everyone that you are valuable on the team kind of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, it, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. (laughs) No, please, please, please blast out. Go for it. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. (laughs) Good. (laughs) Um, yeah, I think kind of what I, I wanted to get at, and I've been trying to like have this conversation with, with other people, um, as well, like, I think growth and growth mindset can sometimes get misconstrued as like a constant productivity and a constant change. Yeah. How would you define, um, like, even if we're thinking about, I'm going to make an ST, um, (laughs) or here's my peacock. Yay. (laughs) Like hair growth, your hair isn't always growing. There's like a, a rest phase and a shedding phase Yeah. for you or, um, maybe for our type or anybody, however you want to answer this, what do the like rest and shed phases of life like look like for you? And like, do you find yourself valuing that? Yeah, right. I think um, I would say prior to my, I feel like everything is like before and after, uh, I guess you would call it deathbed for me. Like everything is before and after deathbed. And what I used to believe growth mindset was, was constantly uh, telling yourself you're not good enough. You're not there yet. You need to keep achieving. If you're not achieving, um, you're, you suck, you know? And honestly, all that was uh, the growth mindset, the self-growth type stuff um, was just an absolute mechanism to feed to the TE so that it could keep doing what it wanted to do, which is get better, do better, I suck. I'm not good enough. And it's just feeding the lie of the TE. That's what it wants to hear. Like do something else, go out and do yep. something else. And for the DIs, it's like, for any DIs watching, it's like <laughs> become more yeah. or, or become less or yeah, just like that. So like, yeah, on, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Self, uh, self improvement to show the others that I really am amazing. And for the DEs, it's like, I hope the tribe 
uh, keeps me around. I hope I'm good enough. I hope, I hope that I measured up, you know, I hope that they saw that I measured up. It's a, it's a very different direction. Or this yeah. Way, especially with OE. Yeah. I helped them. I bettered their life. Did that work? Did that make your life better? If it made your life better then now I have value. And then when I add to that, even if I do it once, it's, it feels empty. I got to do it again. I got to do it again. So there's that like growth period. Now I would say like, after I got to the point where I went through a very radical with self time where I was like throwing up from the drama. I'm just like, I've had it. I can't manage yeah. this kind of yeah. mental um, neuroticism where I still had fear. I still had fear. I still had anxiety. I still had the uh, woe is me victim feelings. I had all of that still. And you just get to the point where you're just like, literally, I don't feel anymore. I don't feel anymore. I don't care anymore. Everything is empty. Helping people, totally fake. Jumping out and doing all the to eat, totally fake. All of it's a lie. And you get to the point where you're just dead to everything. Now, self-growth becomes a very, very, very steady, slow, slow as fuck, slow, boring um, like a conscious choice where you're like, I'm not doing this because so-and-so is going to approve of me. I have to do this to get myself to care about anything and therefore get up in the morning, go, um, go work on a project and blast play that project because I need to prove to myself that wasn't real also. And it's a very slow and steady incline, but the reality of life is it's peace. There's so much peace. There's so much self-forgiveness. There's zero neuroticism. So you're never going up and down with the tides of um, yeah. like the heart, the heart rate that just goes, oh, oh, so-and-so is mad at me. Like the, where you should start getting like the kind of burning fire feeling of like, so-and-so is upset at you. And now you started to fight and like all that's completely gone because in milliseconds, you're just like, oh my God, nothing's real. Cause you've gotten to the point where you're just like, what go in that closet one more time. What the hell are you afraid of? Go in there again. Oh, so-and-so is mad at me. So the fuck what? I can't stand so-and-so fuck you. Where you just stop being pulled into the drama of it. And so I'm trying even... to find a reason why you were right or why you should. Why? Get so it's, I don't like it. The end. Why? 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 Yeah. Oh, I need to save that. Why? Well, that person's mad at me. And if that person's mad at me and everybody in the community believes them, and then I'm going to have that person mad at me and they all believe them. And then they don't believe me. And then they don't know the true me. And then, oh my God, oh my God, great. They don't know the true you. Guess what? They don't know the true you. And nobody gives a fuck because everybody's living in their own matrix pod. Now what? Now what? What did you get so freaked out about? Why? It'll literally be gone in a week. Mm hmm why none of it's real oh yeah but it got you out of bed today it got you to do this thing how about you go do that thing that you want to do and you don't need any reasons or excuses or somebody else to tell you it's okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're allowed to go directly to the source and just stop being afraid yeah i think okay to kind of contrast like the the blast and consume coin really quick because that's like our only tip i know <laughs> um, right um i feel like um more i guess allowed to like do what i want but i'm like obligated to like explain it yeah um and then yeah like I lost the other part of the oh, feminine sensory, but anyway, with, with the blaster, you'd be wanting, you'd be getting other people involved as well. So you can yeah. do what you want as long as you're directing someone and being like, okay, okay, okay. Cause each time you ping someone, like I don't want to do it unless it involves other people. So it's not like, oh, I have to, right. find, I have to find excuses to do what I want. It's like, I don't even care. Yeah. Like, like, right. I have to push myself to care about stuff just for me right and like and you're also allowed to do that yeah because maybe you're not interested unless it involves other people so 
Shannon. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So maybe wow. other people also like that. Like, why is it bad? I don't know. I made it bad. And that's one thing I I'm bothering people. Yeah. So. That's one thing I noticed in the community too, is that there's this, um, I love you community. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> just this, like, it makes me sad because it's this yeah. pressure. A lot of people, especially I think the DIs probably that put on themselves. That's like, um, yeah, right. I, um, in order to be growing, I have to be different and like, yeah. I'm like, it's okay to be your saviors or we have yeah. some concepts and, um, kind of like teachings and Enneagram stuff too, where it's like, as long as you're kind of like watching with consciousness, right. Then right. like, if yeah. it calls for it, it calls for it. Like, yeah. 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 Cause again, like the in my opinion and and this might be slightly tweaked if it's not for deciders it might be more um I'll, I'll mention what i'm talking about after i'm, I'm such a bla blast laster the way to non-drama is honesty with self if you are a decider that is number one honesty with self and Ooh. and i think if you were to tweak it one percent for observers it would be like hey go fucking look there go do the observations. Stop hiding shit from yourself. It's so, a belligerence, you know? Yeah. So for like intuitives, it's like, look at, like, look at the facts. Go, or like, the event. like for Dave, it's like, yeah. go out to the fucking mailbox and look around and start searching for problems. And that became his plight where it's like, go look for the problems. Stop hiding that stuff from yourself, mm -hmm. you know? Cause you're just belligerent. That's what the observers feel like to me. They're just belligerently like, I don't know. Like you're doing that because you just don't want to go observe that. If you're lead any, I don't want to go look at my bank account. I don't want to go manage my finances. I don't want to go manage my, I don't know, taxes, whatever the hell it is, demon SI stuff that you got yourself into. It's an absolute belligerence of, I don't want to do that because then I can't be in like, we, but what about this? And what about this? And what if this? And what if that? Like, if you're demon SI, that's why it's the just pull and the addiction to stay in that brain space, you know? Mm -hmm. And same thing with demon NE. It's like, I, I, I'm not able to go. I, I, I can't figure it out. Same thing with demon NI. I don't know. You can't know. I don't know. You can't know. We don't know, you know? Yeah. And it's just an absolute belligerence. But right. for you and I, and every other single decider, it is a ridiculous lack of self-honesty. Oh yeah. Like um, the only reason that oh, there are reasons. All right. So <laughs> I know. And then your brain stops remembering what you're going to say. I do that all yeah. the time where I'm like, I can hear myself using oh, my no. questions and now I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like, um, sometimes what softens the effect even of my TE at the top is like, ooh, I know if I smash too hard, yeah, too hard, I'll hear something about me that I don't know or don't yes. want to know. Yes. <laughs> so I can trick myself into thinking I'm so like yes. cohesive and yes. you know, for the vibe. Just yes. I'm afraid to find shit out. Yes, that's it. And I'll try to like sit down and even sometimes write down like, like, well, what could they possibly say or what could this right. possibly mean? And my brain will literally be like, no, like <laughs> the sheet down. I'm like, Please, I'm <laughs> right. I know. And I feel like we, especially with the DE, like we are constructing arguments to sound like, I don't really care about this. I'm going to come out looking like whatever. And you're yeah. just constructing this entire thing to win the argument that no one was having, by the way. But I got win. Mm -hmm. and I will just pretend like I just don't care. And like, hey, why don't you just be like, fuck it. Yeah. I actually care. I'm really hurt. Uh, here's what I really feel. And I also don't care if you don't want to be friends. There, done. I said oh. it. That leads, well, yeah. that leads really well into part two do you mind if I take a quick bathroom into oh I super mind you are not allowed <laughs>
Well, guess there what? is some rule master out there. Guess saying what? I'm going to do it anyway. And that's self growth. Okay. <laughs> self growth. Fuck you. I'm doing it. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. BRB. Okay. All about <laughs> intermission. Can we get a song? I'm so fast. You're so fast. See, in the past, I would have been like, oh, just hold it for as long as possible because you can't- And like, cause bladder damage. <laughs> you can't like break the spell. <laughs> right, if you, right. If you stop hypnotizing them, they'll just like leave, <laughs> get back to their DI shit and then- Which like, I did. I started writing down notes and I'm like- <laughs> Oh, you did? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I like wrote down a bunch of notes because I was like oh I want to make sure that this flows but yeah um, yeah like we're skipping crackheads so. well we're having a great time we're having yeah. a great time and we're getting somewhere I feel like we're getting some good deep stuff out so I really cool. wanted to like ask you stuff that was like mm, like felt more like hidden or behind the scenes or like less yeah. yeah 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 Good. And I'm glad, I'm glad you're asking personal questions too. Cause honestly, that's the, that's the funniest thing ever is I notice that people will think that they're asking questions for the tribe, but really like every interview, I know what it's about. The person wants to have some questions answered and like, I'm like, let's go, let's do it. Like the more personal, the better, like the more it's like, Hey, I want to actually, you know, get some stuff out. I want to get some real, you know, conversation going like let's go you know no, <laughs> it's I'm like, like te versus fi i'm like okay te versus fi and i'll answer like the the fake question and i'm like okay what's really this is about okay so i'm feeling insecure about this it's like there you go that's what this conversation's about you uh -huh. know? so i get it i know i love like digging <laughs> under there I yes think. let's see i want to see yes yeah. yes good 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 let's do it I also had like some... feminine wiggles. <laughs> you probably saw that like right away. In my yes. Face. I was like, yes. Hey. So was yeah. Like, Hi, hair. I know I can't stop touching my hair either. Hair. <laughs> did it, like did feminine you wiggles. Tight me or did you and Dave or like how did that happen? Like oh, we actually. I think I think for you we had at least three people type you. So me, Dave, I was a and one for a lot of people that were really. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you know what the most <laughs> common, okay, here's the T. So the most <laughs> common community typing I got, I will spell out the 512, was, nice. oh, Lana Del Rey. Really? Yeah. They saw not blast. <laughs> that surprises me. I think because I, like, um, mm, the feminine sensory, like, it's yeah. like, it's hard to talk, I would guess. I, don't I know. forget what I was saying. I had this vision, like all, all of that kind of yeah, yeah stuff yeah, yeah. going on. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. like I think the the play was mostly obvious. Um that's good. Yeah, yeah they should be but, able to see that. Yeah, but that was like consistently kind of um what people were getting, even when doing like the the checklist. So I was kind of like the in the last month for sure, I was like, y'all are wrong. Like I knew I was like. <laughs> I'm gamma. We're gonna see what flavor. But, sure, um, right, right. Yeah, that's good. Good for you. You knew it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you have such like you have the most activation on your ni that you possibly could. It's second. Uh -huh. It's double activated, and it's masculine. Like, yeah, you're gonna like that makes a lot of sense. That you're gonna have that much ni combined with feminine se. That probably would very much sound like any it's fake and I've been describing like the the blended or the watercolor effect yeah people yeah where it's like they'll think they have the other um like the other axis yeah yeah like blue blue and yellow make green yeah 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 exactly sure. and it's like oh you're looking at blue and yellow not a 
the other color right when they come together or whatever right um, right and I think what threw people off even me a little bit although like mathing it out it makes sense was like the mm, the single activated F right right but you're so emotional like <laughs> you should follow me around <laughs> uh, no but I am cry like, a lot yeah. yeah I love to cry like yes almost every day not so much this week but like in general I yeah like it's like a just a release yeah. yeah arctic yeah do you cry at random commercials that used to be like the biggest thing for me it was like a radio I commercial know what time of the month it is, but. I know yes yes hundred percent like on this on, what is mine mine is like two days before and then three days after mine starts is I'm okay. just like a cry mess like for sure yeah. oh my Every God. T- day to cry cry day there are certain times of the month especially where this one post from this cartoon called courage the cowardly dog where he's like right in stuff like that yes <laughs> thousand percent oh my god I used to have this okay so I'm probably dating myself but they used to have this they used to have this car commercial it was on the radio and it was called car damn it now I'm not going to remember the sensory car whatever it was a button so I remember the and I remember what it was it was a button that you can hit in your car that would call the police emergency or whatever and the fucking commercials the way they designed them was it was like you hear some like mother calling in and being like, we were just in an accident. And they're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. are you okay? And it's like, my baby in the back is crying. I think we're okay. And I'm just like, help her, help her. Baby's crying. And every time I'm like fucking driving and I'm not bawling. And it's worse after you have a kid, isn't it? I hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is when I was younger, but like, yeah, yeah. Just help her, help her. <laughs> She got in an accident. I can't. Oh visualizing God. the whole thing as if I'm there. Like, we're in this crashed car. Yeah, I can see it. I can see the damn thing. Give me those a fucking radio commercial. No. Oh my God. Yeah. I know how to like, get you. I'm like, how old do you think I am? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm 41. So I'm dating myself. This is back when I was. You're only, wait. I 20. I think. I'm 28. 28. Okay. Yeah. So they still have that car. What was it? On Star. Yeah. On Star. Yes. That's what it was called. I remembered it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'm sure they have done that many times. But yes, car- commercials where they're like, so like the feminine SF gets like spooked. It feels like, or it's like problem. And you're like, <gasps> you know. I yeah. actually didn't. I didn't cry at like movies and TV and stuff like that until I was like. A little bit older for some reason i haven't interesting really even though i would cry like in real life a lot yeah I, interesting because I, I don't know my shit answer for now is like i have less life experience but sure yeah like I you don't need a reason <laughs> i want to know how it works Shan. <laughs> maybe um, because because like we have to go because, yeah. because. yeah it's, yeah it's like no one's quizzing you relax yeah um, the first movie that I remember crying at was Stepmom with Susan Sarandon. She like okay, I've seen I've seen parts of that, but that I get it. Yeah, the whole like terminal illness mother. Oh, like, no. that okay. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I know exactly. And wasn't and Julia Roberts, Roberts doing her best? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I totally get it. Yeah. Just, just do your best <laughs> yeah and for me okay this, this is like for me and also like for anyone I have like my chest very small but I've had people reach out to me that are like I relate to you so much yeah oh so, yeah. I mean watch out for this type area and us if you go down that <laughs> hall and you're not already there okay right right but um um one thing I've been kind of thinking about and reconciling is that like I never like I've heard you talk about this and I was like, oh, like, no, um, where like you like didn't know and value your, your feeling states. 
yeah whereas like I was like always the like kind of like picked on for being sensitive yes being like fuck you I'm sensitive anyways what's your fucking yes. problem yeah. and like um yeah. I think that like a lot of the hammer comes down this is why I kind of say like sleep is the mission or sleep is the driver yeah like, have our, our fi and it's yeah. i don't feel like a lot of the time i'm necessarily hiding it but it's yeah. like oh well we all have this precious pearl yeah so don't you dare step on someone else's yes. precious pearl yes or I'll come yes. For you. yes yes for sure yeah. yes like, yes i then, have i have the wrath to protect the baby pearl for sure yeah. yeah and it doesn't even have to be your baby pearl either it could be anybody. no and a lot of times it feels one. more empowered if it's somebody else even though really why you're getting empowered about somebody else is because you were feeling sad today you know that kind of thing happens a lot but yeah mm -hmm. yeah my i i remember at one point my both my dad and my brother um i don't even remember what the conversation was about but both of them were like oh shan's super super oversensitive and i was like what <laughs> As I get offended about it. And I was like, oh no, what? No, you're sensitive. And I so like, I instantly did the TE, you know, clap back of no, you are. And I yeah. had no idea how much everybody was stepping on eggshells around me. I, I heard that a lot about me too. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, huh? what do you mean? Like, I don't know. Tell me right now, aggressive. Ag <laughs> well, like, right, right. And they're like, whoa. But that's for me, what I was like, avoiding. Yes. <laughs> Uh, sensitive has always been my brand and always how people have like described me unless yeah I'm, overly sensitive yeah 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 like ever since I was like when I was like three I would or younger I would hide behind my mom and only want to talk to my mom and my grandma yeah like no yeah. one else especially men I was like <laughs> peace yeah um, yeah 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 so like I was this like oh like <laughs> yes yeah <And, laughs> I'm like, did my FI develop first? Like what happened? But, um, I think that's the self-perception, right? I think it's the, f I see myself like this mm -hmm. and everyone else is seeing the TE. So they're doing this and we're not really sure why people are doing this. Why are they? Well, you're, o you're overly sensitive because I think once the TE is coming out and being like, you hurt my feelings, blah, 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 blah. That you're like, you're like, I'm so glad I've been holding on to how hurt I was all this time, but I had a righteous justice to bark Ooh. at the tribe. And the tribe is like, you always righteous justice. It's not something you ever hide. So the tribe is doing this, even though all we're seeing is I'm scared. That guy was mean to me. I'm hurting again. Oh, no. yeah. 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 And I think that that's the massive disconnect of I see this little flower who's scared and like, they're seeing this. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't know if you relate to this, but when I see other people with their flower, I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, like the, the hammer gets put down like very fast. Like, I'm like, Oh yes. You know, Protect. Yeah. Okay. I think that's what the masculine TE is designed for that, that balance is this is a giant bazooka shield to protect the little bunny. So if you see a bunny, you're like, protect that bunny. Oh, there's another I would never bunny. Never harm a bunny, but you're not being right. a bunny right now. Yes. And so it's like yeah. the TE is like, I gotta protect because it also sees the tribe as aggressive. Mm -hmm. And it's, so it's like, well, then I need to meet the aggression from the tribe with aggression. And the more I can come at them with aggression, then I'm meeting them where they're at and I'm going to win. I have to win because I yes, have to protect yes. the bunny when really none of that's actually happening. That's just what the masculine TE feminine FI conundrum is. It mm -hmm. believes there is this fight. And really it's just saying you now have permission to go full blown crazy bitch because they're hurting other baby victims. Yeah. A lot of yeah. my like drama pop-ups that people have been like, what I'll, I attack what I perceive as like a lack of empathy or yes. a lack of a lack of like super ego or something like that I'm like yes how dare you think you can do that 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 hello yes, yes. and it's like yes I, I yeah I remember I've watched my own video like a hundred times because demon <laughs> wants to see so like, good job wow, what is this? But, 
so I can like quote myself now, but one yeah. of the <laughs> that's good. Good job. It's good. It's ownership, you know? <laughs> no, the ownership is telling you that I did it because like, I was like, well, I don't watch, but um, one of the things I said was like, it was like, uh, you know, there's, I don't think there's anything wrong with a little organic reactivity. Like, <laughs> <laughs> good job. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's true. I, it's, it's like, honestly, it's just, the ownership side of it is where we will run into problems where we're like, nope, it was that guy. And then it's the, I dot, dot, dot. I have no idea in my life why these things happen. Mm. And I think, I think that part of it is, is like, okay, you're not being honest with yourself because 20 steps backwards, you know, exactly in that moment, what is motivating you, but the chemicals blind and the saviors blind us. And therefore dot, dot, dot. I have no idea why I keep getting in fights. I have no idea why all this drama. It's like, okay, let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this where did this like, start? This is probably like demon DI of us and like, like energy dom as well. But like the, I feel like it's okay to sometimes I'm justifying justification right now, but like, if you're going to love the honesty, like, yeah. <laughs> if you're going to just be like, well, I did it because this and I felt like it like yeah yeah sure but um it's it's when you get into like the I have no idea why this keeps happening right right it just keeps happening despite my perceived best efforts or whatever yeah like, that's where you're like yeah kinda screwing yourself and screwing you're screwing yourself because yeah. you know we call it we call it kick the dog around here oh okay. you can go kick the dog to make yourself feel better go mm -hmm. kick the dog and sometimes it's you know Dave or I don't know who, whoever else <laughs> James want to talk to the most, but like, oh, all, yeah. And, and that's like the, the, the negative wording of that is like, oh, I didn't realize that's what I was doing. You're pissed off about something. So you go kick a dog right. that had nothing to do with why you were upset. You're just taking out your random aggression on something. And, you know, if you picture it being an innocent dog, it's, it changes the perspective a whole lot. Cause now you're like, what am I doing? What am I actually doing? Cause I have a lot of pent up negative emotion and wait a minute, why do I have all this pent up negative emotion that I need to get out? Oh, that's because I'm really not actually resolving. If I'm not going deep enough in that FI, I'm not actually going deep enough in that FI and really asking why is there a giant lava pit in here that I need to go kick a dog? What's that really about? Mm -hmm. I feel really low. If I'm really staring at that and I have some radical self-honesty and I'm going all the way to the bottom, there's a giant cauldron of lava down there of about 20 things that each will take me a year to resolve because I am not, I have not, I've been letting that boil and fester for a really long time. Wow. And yeah. instead of, I just need to get this energy out. Why? Because that doesn't solve it. I can tell you that it actually causes more drama and creates more deep FI problems down here that you now have to resolve as well. So with, okay, with like, mm, let's call it like self-improvement or growth mindset. Yeah, yeah, with like category. Deprogramming. Um, yeah. Do you feel like you and people in general should maybe um, take kind of like, I don't know if you know how Ayurvedic medicine works no. at all. It's kind of like Ayurvedic. Um, she writes down. <laughs> it's I'm um, like, I'm gonna look this up. Yeah, I'll spell it for you. A Y. Yeah. A Y. -R Thank you. V E D I C. Okay, I was way off. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I would have it's not done. English, so there you go. <laughs> oh yeah, but, yeah. Um, um it's kind of working with like everybody has a certain kind of like elemental constitution and in order to to treat the ailments of said constitution you need to bring in like a, a counterbalance do you feel like right when it comes to i don't know like cracking out on saviors that you have to dip into the energy space of like whatever your your demons are to kind of give yeah. that medicine yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think, I think the majority of 
And like, I, I know this is a sensitive topic and I'm not even going to deal with the actual like uh, chemical medical of uh, personality disorders, but in my opinion, I have one of those. It's okay. You're allowed. <laughs> and, you know, technically, you know, I'm sure I have three. So the thing that I see in the deepest parts of every single human is there like, and this is everyone, and this is masculine and I, and I will go all in on this. Every single person has the personality disorder of their type. I have a massive chemical wiring geared to trigger from my demon functions, period. Especially that last one. So the building of drama that comes from that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it, and then, and then the wild out of control flinging of maybe it's this, maybe it's that, maybe it's this, maybe it's, oh, it's because of this, it's that, when like you could just firebomb in a million different directions and blame the government, the patriarchy, the God damn, like the amount of things that you could just go, it's this. And then I will do a Ted talk on that because I'm so all in. And really it's like, actually down here and if you solve that i just see it as like a, it's yes it's an a, a addiction it's a but it's like you have a cancer tumor is what it feels like yeah of, because you're not doing you're just not going Overgrown directly mass. yes yeah. for yeah. sure you're not just going after the tumor mm-hmm. the second you go after the tumor instead of focusing on all the symptoms and then blaming the random newest thing for all the symptoms Oh, it's because I drank a soda yesterday. And that's why I have, no, no, no. It's because you have an imbalance of your gut flora. Like the amount of things that are not dealt with at the core. Mm -hmm. That's really what I want to do. Even with this channel is like, um, and kind of like what I wanted to culminate in, even in our interview as well as like, um, a lot of these personality systems are like their their inner work base which is like yeah, yeah. That's the base and then yeah. I still society is made up of a bunch of individuals so people not doing their inner work leads to outer yes chaos outer whatever you want to call yeah. it yeah. um and okay so I'll circle back around to that in a sec what I wanted to say before too was um to give you some like NT to what you were saying about like disorder of the personality was like yeah yeah um, because I do study this stuff Um, (laughs) (laughs) how like personality disorders work is essentially that um you know during development like conflicting parts of the self and parts of others aren't integrated properly and the same thing happens with like savior and demon states anyway it's like right like like a natural incomplete integration right right. your your full self your full essence or whatever so right really personality like dsm personality disorders are like an yeah kind of manifestation of what everyone's struggling with already it's just like oh you're you're clinical okay yeah yeah (laughs) yeah 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. you actually have you know the hallucinations and stuff like that but like all of Mm -hmm. all of that stuff um you know, again, I think, I think there's, I definitely think that there's like a lot of stuff that you can work with with your doctor, obviously drugs wise. Um, sure. but the, the side of, cause like I dealt with clinical depression for years, years, oh, like I don't want to exist. I feel nothing. I want nothing. I'm sitting in my bed and I'm crying, you know? So it's like, look, I fucking know. I fucking know where you're just asking yourself. All right do I really want to live? I mean, what are the, like just the amount of like depths of hell. Right. So, and I got out and it wasn't, I, I, it was the most non shortcut way ever. It was an extreme massive digging at the FI of like, what the hell am I afraid of? Just going all in on the FI for me. And I'm like, what is it? What is it that I, that I have inside of my dark closet? I see this for everyone. It feels like everybody has that closet. You know, remember being a kid or under your bed, whatever your thing is, where you just have this giant closet and it's dark and you're afraid to open up that door. That's what everybody's last function feels like to me. Yeah. And it's like, if you go in there, you're like, oh my God. And just picture that one closet. That's just fully full of junk. And I think that that's what a lot of people are afraid of is they're like, I have not owned any of this. 
And what I'm terrified of, this will break my worldviews. This will break my plans for myself. This will break my vision of who I think I am. And this will break everything that I wanted in life. And I think that that's what everybody's really terrified of. So they close the door. They yeah. don't acknowledge it. And they will just chase symptoms. And I think that's just what all of us have done. And, it, and the problem is, is that your body gets physically addicted to chasing symptoms. Yeah. yeah. And that's what the drama is about. Oh, yeah. Because if I do this over here, I don't have to open up the closet door. I don't have to go in there. And, mm-hmm. and when you really go look, you're like, what am I afraid of? Yeah. Cause just go chase worst case scenarios. And you're like, really, really? <laughs> yeah. You can't, this, that, nah, you, okay. Let's pretend that like, pretend it isn't real. You're just most terrifying thing that you're afraid of. What if you pretend it isn't real and then act on it, not being real. Wow. And the problem is you do have to detox. The body still has to chemically get unaddicted to the fear, get unaddicted to the drama. And it is that process over and over and over again, where you're like, open up the closet, go to the worst case scenario and take action. For me, I, I ha- I'm terrified of blasting. I'm terrified of getting things done, which is weird because I used to be able to bl- uh, play energy to get things done. But now I'm afraid that Dave will judge me. You know, I've put a, a single person in my life that I admire and I look up to. So he will say no and he will judge me. So I've, I've created that in my mind. Every EJ does, every DE does that. One person that I'm scared of, right? And I just keep creating scenarios in my life where I'm like, I'm going to go build a thing today. I'm going to go get, uh, I'm going to go upgrade this area today. And I force myself to have conversations so I can keep putting pressure on that trigger that comes from my brain. I keep yeah. finding ways to create practices, small practices in my life to keep pushing past that thing. So there's nothing in my closet because they, they grow back. The things in your closet, they grow back because the brain is just wired to fear that thing. Okay, great. I'm going to create something today. I went and I upgraded my desk chair and I had to go get it on Facebook marketplace. So I'm going to disrupt Dave's schedule and that's going to cause drama. And now I have to go and I have to pick it up. What if I don't like it? What if the lady says no? What if the lady can't bring it down the stairs? Oh, and then she's going to be upset that I didn't come with another person to help me. The amount of weird shit that the TE comes up with. And I'm now driving on my way there going, fuck you. Nope. Still not real. And I'm like choosing to find a way to regulate my heart rate. Cause the FI starts going, nope, still not real. And then I get there and I'm like, and give love, give FE to some degree. Right. I tell the lady, you know, I give her even more of a tip. She wasn't expecting that. I tell her, this is great. Thank you so much. I'll take it from here. I tell her, I hope you have a really wonderful day. I give love to her kid that's sitting there. I give love to her cat. I just am present because why am I even there? None of it was real. Yes, I do need to upgrade my chair, but none of that is actually real. It's just a fake thing. So I get it home and I did interrupt Dave's schedule. I did cause him chaos, but I never, ever, ever emotionally put that on him. I just said, how are you doing? I'm so thankful for you. Thank you so much for helping me. I love you. All of that to choose what my reality was, even though my brain was communicating a very different reality. I'm practicing choosing to create my reality. And sure enough, my partner is super happy. We got to talk about it later. Yeah, actually that did disrupt my, it would have been good if you could let me know ahead of time. Yeah, that's true. But I literally found out this morning. Mm. Moving on. And then nothing got put in my closet. Nothing got put, because guess what would have happened if I, if I was living how I was living previously, I wouldn't have done it. And guess what? what I would have said to myself, just not allowed to upgrade my stuff. I have to live in this chair that hurts my back, but woe was me. Oh, well, well, it's because Dave, I mean, we can't do anything because Dave doesn't let me. 
and I wouldn't have done it. And he would have no idea why I was being a bitch to him that day. Cause I'd had this little story in my head and I wouldn't have a new chair. I just would have a story in my head that says, I'm not alone. Okay. Why live like that? You know? So you just choose, I'm not going to live in drama anymore. I'm going to manage that thing in my head that creates weird scenarios that are not real. And I'm going to keep pushing into reality, the reality I want that is not drama, that is moving forward. The moving forward part, the self-growth part of that, it's fake. Getting a chair is fake. It's just what my FI wanted. Totally fake but I allowed it myself and I didn't let anything get stored in my dark closet today. And that's it. And then you get up the next day and something else will pop up and you just got to manage that as well. Knowing the problem that you're trying to solve is not that Dave is going to be mad at me today and I'm going to wreck his schedule or the lady is going to be blah, 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 blah. That is not the problem I'm trying to solve. The problem I'm trying to solve is that me, my brain makes up fake shit and projects that onto reality and puts myself in a position where I am stuck emotionally. Mm -hmm. I'm not allowed. That's the only problem I'm trying to solve is the weird shit going on in my head, not people. You're not trying to solve anything outside of yourself anymore. And this is for every function. You're not trying to solve anything outside of yourself. If you're still trying to solve how your mom or your siblings or that guy on Facebook or your job or your car, if you're still trying to solve something outside of just the triggering in your mind, you're not ready to get started on the journey yet. Even you're not started. Yeah. Just not starting yet. Yeah. Cause it's no, you're not trying to, you're not trying to manage anybody except for the fake triggering and projecting that your mind is doing that's it wow. and it's freeing it's very freeing it's it's funny because I'm listening to you and I'm like wow I have so many Shan problems with like a little sprinkling of Dave problems because yes yes <laughs> <laughs> right 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 you're like I'll keep the function love child yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. because um yeah like so many people, I remember, um, you know, I was, I was dating, a an almost opposite for a bit, like a, a consume sleep SEFI. And mm -hmm. it was like, oh, LOL. Like your work is just to like do stuff you like. I'm like, yeah, bitch. I'm terrified to do that because, um, that like is associated with like, like just dropping into just pure experience is associated with like yeah when experiences hurt and I don't want to hurt right now yeah so, <laughs> yes so like doing the doing the st or the te is like a way like a controllable way to like move the emotions so yes yeah yeah and no like, bad emotions ever never never yes um, <laughs> yeah. yeah I get it so like ops and personality theory in general um I, I said this earlier. Oh my God. In my video, I remembered, oh God, I remember saying like, this relates to what I said before and I should have known. Because <laughs> you're tracking. I said yeah. this already. Yeah, here's how this this all is not happened. new. Yeah. yeah. Nothing's new. <laughs> I already knew it. I don't mm. need to know anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like what I, okay. So me as like an EJ with like all this, like, and I going on, I'm always yeah. like in going through these like decider, like ethical human kind of qualms in my head. And I'm trying to work them out in this almost like visual landscape of like a proverbial or a hypothetical village. Mm -hmm. And it, part of why it's only hypothetical is I haven't like done anything physical yet to make it real. Cause in my head is very real. And I'm like, yes, how ideally things would go. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, um, obviously the downside is like the stuff we talked about with like, and what will the village people say? <laughs> but the, right. the purpose of it is to ensure that like villages are up and running at all. Yeah. Um, Cause there's power in numbers and there's survival in numbers. Right. But, um, 
that's like a, a can of worms, but I guess, yeah, I had, I had two questions and one of them was like, I know that, um, you and Dave, like, especially the word tribe, like there's kind of like anthropological language. Um, right. you developed the animals by watching, I think nature docs. Right. So like, yeah. <laughs> what are there any like social science kind of frameworks that um inspired you to like, go down this path with discovering this shit like did we get uh, the the thing that we we started with very few i mean honestly we started very consume last in this way we were like <laughs> I think it's somewhere over here and we didn't do a lot of deep research. I mean, I studied psychology in, in college. It was one of my many, I had many psychology classes in college, but it was the like fake shit that you're just like, you know, memorizing stuff and taking a test on it. It's nothing. You're not actually seeking, you're not s searching, right. but um, uh, I did read Carl Jung. I did start there. Um, and to, uh, Tony Robbins, uh, Davey was very well versed in Tony Robbins. In fact, he used to like yeah. listen to Tony Robbins audiobooks for back and forth going um, to his blinds hanging job. So he, you know, he literally put in Tony Robbins into his NI box. And so it's like, if you combine Tony Robbins with Carl Jung, that's, that's essentially a lot of where we were digging, you know, and it just so happened that that was the majority of like, we're like, well, wait a minute, this is working. And Carl Jung's um, a lot of the stuff that he talked about, he, he definitely talked about the functions in a way that were like, FI is very different than TI and FE is very different. Like he talked about them like individually, but he still, I mean, he still very much talked about how we talked about it. And like, he did see the, he did see the, um, irrationality of the introverted function. So I'm like, okay, like from, from his stuff, from Carl Jung's stuff, I saw, um, I, d I did extract whether it was just my and I doing that or not, but I did extract going, oh, all the introverted functions are doing the same thing. All the extroverted functions are doing the same thing. There's a spectrum happening and then there's a, a building and a depth happening with the introverted functions. So um, there was a couple of NI concepts that we pulled from that. And one of them, um, Davey and I locked onto, and it was the Punnett square thing where it's like, if you, if you, if you have, if you have three, there's a, there's a missing one. There needs to be an opposite binary. And a lot of that was just, that's how science is. Even David was like, I, I remember one thing from science class and it was Punnett squares. I'm like, yeah, I remember Punnett squares. So we just believed in that, that there was a binary and then a second binary for everything. And that quad arrangement, that math was just, I mean, just everything pulled out of that math. And it's funny because later on, we found out that Carl Jung also said, you know, everything is in fours, you know, like everything is, is a, is a, yeah. an equation of fours. I don't know how he said it. I forget the feminine sensory, my feminine sensory forgets, but like he said the same thing. And I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And, um, it is, it is that you have to have an equal and opposite. And you think of atoms, you know, you think of the, the, the positive and the negative, like you're always going to have that uh, balance, dark, lighter, dark matter, light matter, you know, you have, you have some kind of equal and opposite. And I'm like, okay, that, that is exactly what we were seeing. And, and the four just helped us fill in the gap. So a lot of times when we had eight things, we were like, it's either four or there are two sets of, you know, going on here. So automatically, if we had three, it's because we couldn't see the opposite. So we needed to see what are the balance here. And that's where like, when we started watching the chimp documentaries, I started watching them because I just was consuming that stuff. And, and every, every time I would watch something or consume anything, I was just obsessively seeing the function stuff in e everywhere. You know, you couldn't, yeah. at that point, I can't stop seeing it. So, um, I watched the chimp documentaries and saw that uh, one of the females was, a, I think same type as me. <laughs> and I was just like in shock. Cause I'm like, Oh my God, that's me. And you're just like, whoa, you know, and coming from a Christian worldview in the past, you're just like, oh my God, <laughs> of course. Like you just feel like how embarrassing that you can't see something so simple. Like that this is, this is me. This is me. I'm that monkey. I thought I was so much greater and better and, and whatever than a monkey. And it's like, nope, that mom is getting mad at that guy and protective over her baby. And then she's going off to have her baby. And then she passes out and sleeps. And then she's a whole different person when she comes back to the tribe because now she has her baby and she's very aggressive with the tribe and very protective over her baby. 
ah, uh, like you just get so like, this is so funny. And then I show it to Dave, which it's hard to get anything into Dave's consume okay. box. But mm-hmm. once something gets in there, both of us watch it. And he was like, he just like went away for a little bit. And he's like, okay, I got it. They're doing four actions. And the, 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 uh, the animals came from Dave. He just literally saw, he's narrowed it all the way down. He's like, the monkeys are doing only four actions. They're, they're sleeping. And then like blast was one that we were like, what the hell is blast? <laughs> Didn't know what that category would be like. It's the opposite of consume. And we had like some stuff that we're like, I can't explain why the monkeys are doing this over here. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Um, it's the opposite of consume. And then sleep and play was very easy. You know, the wrestling, the fighting, it's like, okay, that's play. That's, I need to interact with others. And then the, the resting. So that quadrant thing, the Punnett square thing, it was like, there has to be an opposite here. There has to be something like that. And so that's where everything built from is just seeing that. You know what? I, you just got me thinking like, cause I've been, when people kind of ask me like, okay, like what, what can you get from the Enneagram that you can't get from ops or like vice versa? Right. Right. A lot of it is like, um, cognitive functions is working with the law of two and fours and the Enneagram yeah. actually works with the law of three. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what laws of three do is it, um, cause I think coins kind of, they teeter and they, they balance and they create like, um, blue and blue and yellow yeah, green. like a sense of constants or, or static or like swinging and threes are similar but what happens with three is like um maybe a a cyclicality or like a longer pinging process so you can kind yeah. of like um see patterns like very very quickly and also they end up being kind of like um more uh pronounced in the body and I wonder if that will come up for you guys as well because I know you were saying like sometimes you see types within types and you haven't like yeah yeah Yeah. there's definitely parts that we there's parts that we see that we don't there's patterns that we see that we don't talk as much about Mm -hmm. um that are separate from the from the op type like there's like social patterns and we've been talking about them a little bit more here and there but yeah, like some of those gaps are filling in for sure where you're yeah. seeing more patterns with just yeah. interaction, social, social hierarchy interaction, which I also seems to be that. genetic. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I think, yeah, you, you mentioned the, the Christian worldview. I know that's like not as much like a part of your life now. Yeah. Um, and for me, um, a lot of I've always come from is like kind of uh like earth-based spirituality Mm -hmm. and like um coming from an understanding with how do these concepts fit into community operating because I constantly am looking at everything as an ecosystem and like all these moving parts so I was curious like there's so much like juicy stuff about um the inner work that comes along with with ops and personality theory I was curious like if you saw any possible like macro effects happening or um yeah how would you like to see that transform or bleed into society spiritually you mean yeah sure like both structurally and spiritually whatever comes up that's a hard one because I definitely um I've definitely let go of a lot of personal desire to change the world. I think that's what, you know, that's what used to get me up in the morning. You know, I got it. I got to get this message up to the world. I have to, this is, and I still have that, but I don't have that animalistically. Mm. So um, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not because of a uh, charge, which is really just coming from fear of, demonify stuff you know and then i'll place it on i need to change the world and that's what i think everybody's doing is i need to change the world is coming from a fear of that last function you know um the thing the thing that i would hope for everyone i mean if i were to just get back into that caring mindset where i'm like what i would want and wish for everyone and you know again i I say that very lightly because i don't have any need anymore 
that anybody takes anything from anything we're saying, but um, you go through something so positive and you'd want other people to have that too. And I think the biggest thing that I see from op, op to me is um, it's a microscope. It's specific. It's like, if you want to actually find out where the cancer is, it's a, it's a magnifying glass of being like, it's right there. And you're going to search all over the body and you're going to do a lot of good and you're going to do a lot of yoga and you're going to, you're going to eat a lot of greens, but like, it's right there. And if you, if you're ready to get started, which a lot of people are not, a lot of people are not, they believe they are, but they absolutely are not ready to just go right in there and gouge that out. But that's, it's, it's just a, it, I don't want to say shortcut because it's obviously not a shortcut, but it gives you a map for if you reoccurringly go in this direction, you will find it. Your brain is going to distract you all day long, but it is always right there. And if you believe that it is right there, you can shortcut living with the dramatics. Right. And I guess like the amount of good it would do for everyone, you would stop having the massive uh, mental uh, unhealth that people have. You just, you would, because you would be able to go and calmly resolve where the triggerings are coming from. So, yeah, yeah, I've been, this is like a slight channel shift, but like, I've been, um, really kind of unpacking what health means at the micro and macro level. And cause it used to be like, do no harm. And mm -hmm. then I'm like, well, what does harm mean? And, yeah. and kind of going down that like and I rabbit hole, I guess. But I, I think it really comes down to like natural consequence versus manufactured suffering. Right. Because right. if if you're suffering, um yeah. even if it doesn't like end, like if it has some kind of meaning or if it's just a result of, you know, greater forces beyond control. Right. You know, right. you can integrate that. And I think that I really feel that we are meant to integrate that, like right. humans especially. But if, you know, it's the causing drama, let's say, I would qualify that as like manufactured yeah. Yeah. harm or manufactured suffering, which actually like disrupts natural law, disrupts natural energy yeah. even. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't- It's non-objective. It's subjective- yeah yeah I, I very much yeah yeah we definitely see that a lot that the way that i i've been saying it it's like consciousness plus responsibility and mm -hmm. i like i i'm i use that as now my if i could call it that but like my religion of i don't want to live in a world where reality is here and my brain is here and there's a massive giant wall that's a disconnect between me and actual reality. And that takes a serious amount of slowing down the brain and consciousness because what I'm fighting is not out here. What I'm fighting is the, the, the triggering and the brain wiring in here, the projecting of what my brain wants to be afraid of. And that is, is a massive disservice to every human. And again, I understand evolutionarily why it's there, gets us up in the morning. It panics you. It makes you go build a bridge. It panics you. It makes you go start a war so you can conquer that land. I mean, that's why we're designed that way. It's not going to, that's not going to stop anytime soon because it does keep the species moving. That panic, the drama, the anxiety. That's why people go do a TED talk and save the world and build a product. It's, it's a lot of momentum, you know? I don't want to live that way. I don't want to live where I'm being, I'm a, I'm a, a zombie slave to my programs and I'm not seeing objective reality. And then once I see that objective reality, I want to take responsibility for that. So it's consciousness plus responsibility, which is just a lot of practice and a lot of time. Yeah. So that, yeah. That's, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like you don't want to be asleep to yourself. Yes. Yeah. Rest that's is different. One. Like, yeah. yeah, you don't want to be unconscious. Like, yeah. Som Unaware ambisomulence or whatever sleepwalking is called in latin but yeah zombie uh, yes <laughs> i guess that's where the word zombie comes from huh? um yeah that's why i was like i wonder what that is 
I, I think that this ties back to the beginning too, like the whole, like, um, I think it's easy for people when, when typing themselves and typing others and, um, just like having a, a real understanding of like what the types are, are doing, especially like our type family yeah. is like, mm, looking at that role, um, in like modern Western society, like, oh, well, the, um, the INFP is the poet and the ENTJ yeah. is like the, the CEO. I'm like, I might be an entrepreneur someday. I'm never going to be a fucking CEO. So I really wanted to get at like the kind of timeless essence of these things a little bit. And like yeah. to energy dawn this, like if you were in, let's say, um, a, a village devoid of capitalism, perhaps you were subsistence living, what would you see your kind of like archetypal role as? The gatherer. <laughs> the gatherer so you'd be like okay tribe I see you need berries like I got you like yep 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 Mm -hmm. (laughs) absolutely the gatherer double activated consume I'll get that I'll go get that but like Mm -hmm. the the repetitive building is very draining for me Mm. I still do it but it's just like I don't nails it's like (laughs) 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 but like going back to any project more than once which I have to do constantly. I've been working on the software pro, pro, you know, project the last two years. It just is mind numbing. But like, go get a meal for everybody. I'll do it. Like, let's yeah. go. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go gather well, that shit. Like, I just started bartending and like yeah. as terrified as I am of like consuming the new information, I'm like, whoa, this is a Yeah, lot. right. All the new oh, stuff. Like, oh, please no. Like, let me do something once a hundred times first. Like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> or like they'll explain something to me and I'll be like look like I'm I'm able to be straight up and like ops has given me this yeah. thanks um <laughs> like, no, you know, I have to do it like trust me because I'm not just gonna like sponge it yeah nothing. yeah and like um but my favorite part of the job is like oh okay, you want this beer? I will go get you this beer. Here you go. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. The good <laughs> chemicals that I get from this are yes, like, yeah. God, like, it's so dumb. <laughs> are you happy now? You are happy now. I did it. I did the thing. I'm not exactly happy. <laughs> I practice. Yeah. Yes. I made someone happy. I did a thing and they got happy. I'm mm-hmm. valuable. Done. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Chemicals yeah. That get us up in the morning and get people beers <laughs> literally me today we're berry pickers I think yeah 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 for sure I, I did a job and now people are happy yes yeah. berry pickers medicine gatherers hosts yeah I think of what um how do you feel that your programming plays into your lived experience as the archetype of mother because like a lot of women after they're like post pubescent women are expected to play that but you also like have a kid so right right how does that um I that's a funny one because I feel like in theory in the mind I like I wanted four kids okay and I'm extremely connected to my one kid and I still am like I can feel that like motherly like oh I wish I still I wish I had four I can feel that in my brain of like the longing of that. And it, it, it very much feels like an evolutionary program that okay. like I react to that. I, I can tell I naturally react to that. Um, and I, I would, I have a feeling a lot of it is, is the, that it, the intensity of it is probably also the DE of it. I'm not sure. I, I, or maybe it's the FI that there's a desire to deeply connect. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how other types engage with it or how other females engage with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I realize in, in reality, in practice, it's very difficult for me to be um, a mom. And, and largely I, I, I have so much love, so much connection, so much care, but the blasting side of being a mom is terrifying to me like 
even the like like I can get it like I can do the getting them to school something but there's so much like okay get them from here to here get them from here to here get them to do this get them to learn that get them to clean his room get like all the discipline side of like how to build a yeah. schedule how to build and he's the same type as me but, but masculine, double masculine, right? so you're like okay so now I have to teach this guy how to do blast when I suck at blast so there's a lot of like that blast last struggle with being a mom that is just like mind numbingly hard because you just you have to teach somebody to be able to manage a list a schedule do your chores all that kind of stuff it's hard I have yeah. no concept of that either and I think that's why I thought I was I was like, well, last, last, like, clearly I have these problems and I have them a lot right. worse than like, the average person. So like, right. this right. for me, it's like the extreme feminine sensory of like, my sensory is made to absorb and not to spit back out in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, or like to, uh, to us, to assert like, like to, to, I feel like in some ways my even though I'm a double observer, like the SE and the NI feel like very far apart. So I can't like fuse them to like make the SI. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, I feel that struggle as well. Yeah. It's like, what's a step? I, I, I know I, know I want to go. I How do I get there? I, I don't know what's going on. I don't want to yell. Mind like, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. yeah, like the, there's like the negative emotion of having to discipline. I'm like, I don't want to discipline. I don't even discipline him anymore because he's so good. But in the early days, I had to do a lot of discipline. And now it's just, I have a conversation with him. But that was a really hard time period of like having to like actually be like, okay, know this tonight. You know, like all that stuff caused so much bad emotion. And then both of us dealing with bad emotion, it was just like, okay, this is hard. So the bad emotion side of it was, was hell. But I would guess if you were to have to go do the blasting, I feel like once you got to the reality of the blasting, you'd probably be really good at the blasting. I think, Me? The, yeah, I yeah. bet you, once you get it going, once you get your rhythm, you would do good for me. Blasting. I never feel that rhythm. I don't ever feel the rhythm of like, Oh, it's time to do our thing tonight. I'm like, Oh God. I feel like a lot of it for me too probably comes from like I can't di decide like is this the right yeah thing? No. that too yeah. oh my god yes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yes yeah. yep 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 because you do it feels like it feels like Dave's functions may be more sensory but like it feels like that type would be way better at parenting because of di knows what they want knows what to do double decide doesn't care about the bad emotions and then can keep the rhythm of something yeah as long as it's in their FI, as long as it's in their DI, then they would be like, let's go. And then have some kind of. Oh yeah. I used plan. to want to be, a, I used to want to be a therapist or a counselor. And then I was like, oh wait, I just want to tell people what to do. Like, I don't want to lead the horse to the water. Just drink the fucking water. Like, yes. Like, yeah. I'll do it for you. Is yeah. I think where the struggle like, is. I'll tell you what, like yeah. people actually still get very mad when I'm like, well, you're causing yourself this problem. And I might right. say it like so gently. And I might but it, <laughs> be saying it gently. I, that might physically be true, but like right. still that, that process right. of like being told that from someone they're like, who the fuck are you? Like, yes, yes, yes. It yes, doesn't yes. even matter if I'm right. It's like, oh, like I have to like do this dumb dance with you. Like, are you serious? Yes. <laughs> that's what's hard. I know. Yeah. I just want to tell you the truth aggressively. Rip off the bandit. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Like here it is. Yes. Here's where you are. Here's where I'm at. Here's where that stuff is. Like, yes. Well, I gave it to you. Right. Why not? Like, because I, I just wanted to cry and hug someone. No. <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want to get anything done. <laughs> Every human. You know what? Mm. Too? Okay. <laughs> I feel like I spent so much time like playing good, like being a Discord idiot and like coming with these things and being like, so Shan, like, what about this? What do you think this? And like, one thing I, I noticed is like, a lot of people say, and I know this was never your guys' intention with the modalities yeah. or intern like people are like, oh my feminine, it's usually sensory too. My feminine sensory is so shit. And it yeah. makes me so yeah. mad because I'm like, yeah, Can you hear what you're saying about femininity right now. And like <laughs> I, I get it because like I feel like what an adult human in the society that we live in is yeah. like that doesn't like align with what feminine sensory does necessarily right. there's this like automatic programming of like oh shit 
But yeah. like, I think that I've been moping on some of its inherent like benefits or gifts. Like, yeah, you know, right. Also, the benefit of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you? Like, oh yeah. Like, what are the benefits of feminine yeah. sensory? So I'll, I'll hit that in just a second. But let me let me touch the first thing because I totally I totally see what you're saying and the feminine and masculinity. A lot of our terms came from um, you know, we're SE. So it's like outside of us. Like I didn't, I didn't have any personal decide deciding on this. It was just people talk about masculinity this way. People talk about femininity this way. So we stole the words from the culture. Yes. Yeah. And, um, I see, and of course there's also like gender is a very different thing, but I see all males, females, and non-binary, mm-hmm. um, as, they all have the anima and the animus. Like everybody has the masculine and everyone has the feminine. And I've, I've kind of stopped relating the gender of female, the female gender to feminine. Cause it's like, we're all feminine. We're all masculine. So like, I, that's kind of how I'm seeing it at this point. Although I know it's, it does feel that way, especially if your gender is is a a female it does feel like feminine is me you know and like that feels like if you say something bad about femininity it's saying it bad about me so I wanted to like hit that before I moved on to the the positives but that's how I'm seeing it and again I know that it's not going to be construed that way because that's a lot of math to have to do that and not everybody's brain is doing that math but once I saw that we all had feminine and masculine in our functions it made a lot more sense to me that I was not like like oh you're you can have more feminine you can have more masculine even if on you, a spectrum and yeah even if you take those words out and you replace it with like say like um like strong or outward or or, or soft yeah like yeah people see that yin state as yeah as problematic yeah and I want right. to like reframe that because I'm like oh like it's it's actually not like for right. me um other than the the, the benefit of masculine and I which actually also causes a lot of fucking problems I know I think I know everything I <laughs> hear you <laughs> yes. um, I know this is right okay yeah. maybe yeah. feminine SE isn't the best for like working memory necessarily but I think um uh one of the big benefits I see is like openness to experience absolutely even though for me with like consume last there's oh, like yeah I have like extreme sensory sensitivities. I know. Yeah, like. Yes. Don't touch me. (laughs) And I'm like, I remember being on a on a date with somebody one time, and like they would like every time they took their hand off my knee, I would like tap, (laughs) and then I pointed at my knee, and he would like keep touching it, and I'd be like. You know? Okay, I feel better. I feel safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's like, I get, to, <laughs> I get to like T control how you're moving me. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I totally understand that for sure. So mm-hmm. positives of feminine. We'll just talk about positives of feminine yeah. sensory, and then um, you know everybody can fill in the gaps. But yeah, honestly, the thing that I, my bottom line, my conclusion is, I would not want masculine sensory personally. Tell and I think it, and yeah. I think it's important for everybody to love whatever function they have because that's the tool that they were given. So, you know, it's on you to love what you've been given. I would not personally want masculine sensory because I love in a conversation, there's there's many in a conversation being able to flow. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. The amount of what do you mean? Nope. No, I did not say that. They're like, like, it's weird having conversations with Dave sometimes because I'm like, okay you're being so non-intuitive right now. Like get what I mean, get what I mean, flow with the information. There's so yeah. much when I'm talking I've, that, like, I've and I have all that people, especially partners for that. I'm yeah. Like, make a leap. Like, yes, make a leap, make a jump. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Fill in the gaps, like, come on. And that's like the ability to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. I know what you mean. Yeah. There's another, like, it's like me and one other girl here that has feminine sensory and everybody else in the house has masculine sensory and and she has sensory at the top and she's just like, got it. Know what you mean? Totally know what you mean. I'm like, thank you. Like it's so much easier in a conversation to flow because Uh I don't have to constantly be like, "Uh, okay, okay. How do I say this? Nope. They're going to mess that up. 
they're like, oh yeah, thanks to masculine intuition. It's like, if you did not have the fluidity of my oh, I know. Sensory, I know what your you gotta flow. The masculine intuition wouldn't happen. Have you thought yes. of that? Like, yes. Here yes. I, am. I, I, mad, I love the flow. I love the flow of being able to talk. So that's one of them. And the mm-hmm. second one, I adore being able to visualize something like the guys around this house, they cannot make something without breaking 50 things in order to make it. And I could visualize it, see the entire thing and go, yeah, that's not going to work without touching anything. Cause I just build the entire thing in my head and I'm like, da, 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 da. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it feels like I've, and that's like part of my struggle is like, okay, go make it happen. Now it's like, I already did it in my head. I don't want to do it. It feels like I already did it. I went and I got that thing and done in my head. I'm like that with that's nice conversation. Yeah. 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 Because of the blast. Like, I feel like I have like talker teacher blast and not like, yeah. Blast. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. It's, it's like, I, I feel like a, an outbreak. <laughs> like, well, if you, if you come at her like that, obviously she's going to do this. Like, right. Like, despite being a drama monster, I, I avoid even potentially more drama that way. So yeah, you know, like you guys know what's coming, right? You know, this is coming. Yeah. And, it, and you're not walking off cliffs as much. I, I love it. I love that about feminine sensory. I love that. We're horrible with time. Um, and we're horrible with spatial oh awareness, but the way I was like shaking today, cause I was like, am I going to be on to like the, the last opportunity <laughs> to have an interview? I like woke up at the time I was supposed to start and like, it, oh my God, like, and I screwed yeah. up the opportunity in so many ways. And like, yeah. I bad, obviously, um, yeah. I was like, no, we're learning from our mistakes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Good, good job. Good job practicing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't care if I forget random names. I forget random things. I can I see it, but I forget it either. I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. Like that's how it goes all the time. Yeah. And it, and it does make me, you know, look dumber and ditzier and I just stopped caring. Yeah. Yep. Don't remember amnesia brain. Sorry. Don't got it. But, mm-hmm. but yeah, I, ca- I care less and less. Like you get to, you get to accept sensory data so much more easily when it's better yeah, because it's for open. sure and so. then you know the counter of it you know, the negative of it is absolutely with the masculine intuition it is having to break it from believing and going all in on its on its predictions that's really hard that's yeah. the thing that is like the struggle um but i still would rather i still would rather have feminine sensory personally but again i think it, it's it's a journey you know I probably would rather have feminine DE. I think that that- You'd rather see, be double feminine? Well, the, see, that's the thing. I do love being visual. I love the visual part of, of uh, I don't know. That's a hard one. Cause I do like that's being able to let go. Come on. I like being able to let go of, of bad emotions. I do see that the masculine FIs do not let go of shit. And I'm like, oh, I like being able to be like, I'm over it <laughs> really fast. You know, like it just takes a day. And I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I just need to cry. Now I feel all better. Yeah, I think my masculine and I sometimes saves me from that because like I'll get over it, but it like I forgive, but I don't forget. Yeah, well, I know that. (laughs) I'll get through the emotions. That doesn't mean I ever forgive. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And I I forget anytime. Again, like like, that's a that's like a life journey where it's like, okay, nothing is real. So so like empathy for that person, empathy for that person. As, As soon as you can start. Um, you know, I, I'm totally turning this into a life lesson, but like I, that one is a big deal for me. Um, the uh, not forgiving somebody for many years. And when I realized what that was about, cause there's still people in my life that I'm like, Oh, fuck that guy. You know, I can't stand that guy. You know, there, when I'm starting to feel that kind of energy, that rage, I know that a thousand percent it's coming from feeling like that person is above me. That person has power over me. Mm. And so if I'm still in that rage state, it's, only because I believe that person has power over me and I need to get to work on, Hey, that's not actually true. They don't have power over you. If that same scenario were to happen again, here's what I would do differently. And then I work my way out of it. I'll still feel like a fuck that guy again. I'll still have some of that energy. It'll come back. And I remind myself, you're not stuck. Your brain's believing that, but you're not stuck. They're not above you. They don't have power over you, blah, blah, blah. You know? So, yeah. I think it's also okay to be like, fuck that guy. But once yeah. you're like, 
fucked up guy and you're yes stuckness. yes That's yes really yes because like the, yeah. the bucket is like actually can be really I'm not saying this to you so much as to like the people who are like hyper play Katie out there yeah 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 watching, but like yeah. there's um like the, there's usefulness in saying like get the hell off me or, or yeah yeah me, as long as you're yeah. not fixated on like how that happened why that happened could it happen again how many times did it happen before right I just like went through like four functions right there but like (laughs) (laughs) reason why how sensory (laughs) and I didn't have it before um yeah and I I again I think most of it is just about the chemicals that get triggered if your chemicals are getting triggered why and um do you want to stay in a state where you're feeling not empowered it's totally good to be like dude get off me I don't really want you in my life anymore Mm -hmm. but um if if that's coming from a zen state where where you are not um feeling the uh I guess it's just the chemicals where you're not feeling the like oh my god and that was the worst and avoid 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 yeah. yeah, because I think one thing for every single decider that that um, and myself especially like I want to stay in a state where if that person changes who they are, I want to I want to openly let them back in. I don't ever want to be like never again because that's that's saying that if I do that to them, then I'm doing that to me, and therefore I stay in a state of fear that the decider stuff is real, because if I'm not forgiving them, and that's what I think other people are doing to me when I go late to an appointment or whatever, you know, whatever. Some the thing people that. are doing that though, which is well, like sad. Yeah. But how much is it that we react in a way that we believe they are doing that? Cause you're like, Hey, let's set up another appointment. I really fucked up. That was me. You know what I mean? Like the amount I see Dave get away with where I'm like, Oh my God, I wouldn't have done that <laughs> because I would have believed and no that one things are not. Yet. <laughs> If things are really non-movable and that's a happening outside of yourself, then why is he able to get away with it? Yeah. Why is he able to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do it again. Do over. Ha ha ha. And then make it funny because he just pushes his own FI onto reality. You're like, okay, it was in my head again. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I, I don't ever want to be like never again, non-movable. Fuck that guy. Now there's some people where I'm like, even if you can't, you'd have to really come around. Cause I just genuinely think you're a piece of shit kind of person and I don't want to have anything to do with you. Like, fuck you. But if that person were to be like, Hey, I'm growing. I really saw a lot of shit myself. I would absolutely want to be where my legs are not on one side only. I would want both my feet planted to where I'm like, uh, yeah, empathy brother, you know, see what you've gone through. That's shit. And totally come back in. I have no need. I have no deeper pain there because I don't feel like the scenario that happened was because you were above me or anything was outside of myself. Everything you, is in our own power. Do you feel like you could keep that grace if you came across situations where a person or an institution or whatever is actually like, no, never again. And like, that was really true. Like, does that change anything for you? Or- I'd have to know the situation. Mm-hmm. Um, And I'd also have to, like, I think the hard thing for the single deciders is absolutely not being able to get into the other person's shoes. You know, why, why is the institution or person coming with that stance and, and how, how non-movable do they see me? And, and is it true? Is what they are seeing true? Because I need to get to work on that. And maybe I lost an opportunity with this institution or that person Mm -hmm. because I did do something that was uh, cancel culture too inappropriate that can't be forgiven, where it's like, you fucked up and that's not reversible. You caused some damage. Mm-hmm. You know, then I would just be like, okay, cool, a lesson learned. I'm going to go to this one. Uh, therefore, that, and that's what growth mindset is about. It's, it's not letting yourself stay in a position where you're actually stuck because it had to be in this way. It had to be that institution. It had to be that person. It's like, no, it doesn't. Right. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Right. It's just yeah. letting yourself you know that was just a practice run that was just a practice run next you know your life is still allowed to be beautiful and flow as long as you decide that but a lot of times people will decide if this doesn't go well then i am done and then they choose to be done and it's like actually 
what you don't realize is that your pathway and your life and your internal world, it was going to be much happier on the next one or the one after that. These are just practice runs. And that's the growth mindset of I'm just always in a constant state of growing. I'm always in a constant state of practicing, you know? So sure, there will be bumps in the road that will be like closed door and closed door forever. And the question needs to be asked from the single decider's perspective is like, what are they seeing? Because I saw myself and I have all these reasons of how I was not in the wrong and I read their paperwork and I did exactly what they asked and it was on them. Okay, anyways, throw that bullshit savior functions out the window and stop for a second and go, all functions off the table. They saw something in me that was non-movable and they closed the door and I am making someone else feel that uncomfortable. It might be them, but maybe not. And I want to grow. I want to change. I want to adjust. I want to find a reason to grow, you know? Wow. I'm just like, (laughs) time to process. We've been going for a while. (laughs) Like sometimes when I get into like my, like really into my consume yeah energy it's like it's it's rare that I'm like especially if my like NT is going up it's rare that I'm I'm like have nothing to say back but then when when I'm (laughs) the energy of like pure receptivity then I'm like oh yeah (laughs) oh yeah it's like chasing things yeah 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 um I guess we could like circle back around with like I mean let's take even more advantage of the fact that like we're two FMT essays talking (laughs) like what this is this is for me obviously and like for anyone who like relates to me listening or knows anyone in this category like if if we're like FI lost, but like, what, like, what do I even want to do? Mm. How do you suggest coming out on the other side of that? I think that that's one of those things where, um, if you're not, if you're not getting your feet wet, you will never know. It's not something that you can figure out by sitting there. Consume. <laughs> yes. Or play blast that shit. Like, yeah. And yeah, for you, it will be a lot of, it will be a lot of consume, but it, it really is. I, I wouldn't have known had I not accidentally gone to college. And then I'm like, I don't know, but I like art. Okay, cool. Try every art class. Okay. I tried this, try this. And like, I liked photography. Oh, well, I sucked at it at first. You know, it's like, I don't care. I fell in love with this and I'm just going to spend all my time here, you know? And I did this kind of art, that kind of art, this kind of architecture, this kind of business stuff that da, 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 da. I did all that stuff. Right. But it was just by going out and experiencing the world that you do eventually go, yep, that's the one that just hit me and I can't let it go. And I think a lot of times what will be hard is for consume last is you will be going along and you're like, this one thing made it in my box. And that's the one, that's the only one I got. I have no idea how to make a thing. What else is in there? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. And that's really all it is. Unfortunately, the answer actually is go, go find a way to get some experience. And maybe you do take some local classes at a college, whatever you got to do to be able to get yourself to some kind of trial where you're like, nope, next, nope, next. And yeah, it is consumed, but it is, it's worth it to go through that. Otherwise you live your entire life and you're like, I lived a life that I wasn't really happy about. And I didn't find that out until 10, 20 years later. Mm -hmm. That's what happens to most people is they just go all in and then wait till hopefully someday it'll happen, but they're never doing their demon function. So they don't actually experience anything new, you know, what is your relationship to desire? Desire. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um, I think with the FI, it's a very complicated relationship. It it tends to be very negative and then obsessive, I would say, like wanting something but not allowed to want something. Um, so I think it's it's something that takes a lot more consciousness than the average thing. Because as soon as I want something, as soon as that FI wants something and desire something, the TE immediately says, should not don't have reasons for that the more intense the fi is the more it's not allowed so 
it definitely, if you love someone, if you get addicted to someone, if you get addicted to something, yeah, instantly it, uh, the TE causes problems because of it. Mm. So just something that takes a lot of consciousness. Yeah. That, yeah. The reason I was asking was because like, um, I'm always like thinking like ops and Enneagram or like running in the, in the back of my head and like yeah. in, instinctually you and I are different. And like, there's um, a huge part of my type in the Enneagram, uh, particularly like I have an active, like, um, sexual instinct. And yeah, right. part of that, part of that is just like things in life are delicious. I'm delicious. That's like, my yeah. ego is like fixated on. And I kind of had an inkling that, um, that was more like, un like a bit more underground for you. So sure. like, Ooh, like what, like, Oh no, I definitely have that for yeah. sure. Yeah. I definitely have that. I've always had that um usually people are telling me I'm not I'm not allowed to want stuff and I'm like what do you mean like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. no I definitely have that I definitely see our type naturally has that for sure and I, I think body hands. yeah yeah for sure yeah that's a big part of you know I like I literally can feel that if I don't have that area of my life like fully flourishing I'll get depressed you know like that feels like a thing like yeah. I don't feel good unless that that area in my whole world is happy, positive, flowing, consistent, you know? Yeah. And yeah. growing up, I caused a lot of problems because of it. Like I never, you know, and I think I see this with our types a lot is that always has a boyfriend, always with somebody, always, <laughs> like, always since freaking kindergarten, step out on the kindergarten playground. It's like, okay, you know, just never alone and never not experiencing, you know? Mm -hmm. and getting into trouble but yeah like it's uh I think at this stage it's it's come to be something more that I again like I think so much of the self-love stuff pulls uh the like because like you go like flowering feels like something that is just like one way to attract others either flower and tell me I'm good enough and make me feel important you know and I'll use my flowering and I'll use my femininity and I'll do this stuff to, yeah, 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 I'll do whatever it takes to get that kind of attention and that pull and telling me that I have value. I see that a lot. And the more, um, the more you get on the other side where I, I, the way that I see it is like almost like making your FI masculine in a way, like. Mm -hmm. you're the one scarring it. You're the one going over it again and again and again and being like, my value comes from me. I'm the one that has to go to sleep at night. And I'm the one that either approved or didn't approve of myself that day. It didn't matter how much flowering I got. Didn't matter how much approval I got. None of it actually fulfilled what my internal self decides. And when you get there, that person, that relationship with yourself it becomes so much more like it's duller. It's not as flowering. It's not as like, I need this like um, attention. I mean, I used to, I, ha I have, I used to do a lot, you know, femininely wise. I, I used to do a lot, you know, crazy shirts, lipstick, heels, all that kind of stuff, because I mean, I still put on crazy makeup, but um, so much more of it now is a relationship with me in the more masculine, darker self if that makes sense because I'm like I'm done like I'm I'm self solid like even if Dave were to pass away even if even if I were to lose him tomorrow I would just be self solid so I wouldn't feel um I wouldn't feel like I got taken by the wind again you know because I don't have a, a broken sail anymore I took the sail down and I'm like I'm I am me I'm happy in myself. I, I mess up. I'm insecure and all of that I'm aware of and all of it I have ownership over, you know, like, so the, the flowering part, I'm not worried about someone else needing to fill my cup in some way because I love me, but that took a lot of years to get to the point where I was recognizing I'm not going to sleep at night only because of me, not because of that guy, that guy, that one nor that one, nor that one. They're not the ones keeping me up at night. I am the one 
keeping me up at night. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I recognized that my battle was with myself, that all of that stuff sort of started dwindling, you know, the need, I should say. Yeah. I still have the love and the passion and the desire, but the need energy is very much like contained, you know? Yeah. Like one of the most um, shaking, I guess, realizations I got from like getting my type back was like, I'm like very, I guess, like romantically attracted to like our type and like women of our type too. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And like, yeah. And then I was like, okay, that's valid. Like, that's not, yeah. that's not real. Like, it's but... sparky. There's something sparky about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're, we're cute. So. Um... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and it I was, totally see that. Yeah. I think it was like, I was telling myself this story of like, I'm so attracted to like extreme polarity in some ways that's still true but like I wasn't facing the part of me that was like attracted to my qualities and other people yeah is that I was like oh my god (laughs) right right that's good you're seeing yourself Mm -hmm. and it's good to be able to see self love self you know that's that's awesome like you know, it's not good to be able to see self, hate self. And then that creates a dysfunction. It's like, yes, see the dysfunction in self, see the problems in self, but see it as a journey, you know? Yeah. Well, this was such a good opportunity to like do exactly that. Honestly, good. Like, good. we should probably, we should yeah. probably go. Yes. <laughs> two and and a half hours. We can do like a, a quick debrief after. And yeah. I'd love to do this again. And thank you so much yes. for for coming onto my very baby channel, my baby FI baby channel. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> yes, it's been great. Thank you. No problem. See you, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh my God. How do I? Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's great.